Back in 1751, Benjamin Franklin listened to the needs and the wants of the American people, especially the farmers, and created Benjamin Franklin's Academy. This was an academy primarily to educate one for citizenship. Um, tuition was also charged at the school, and this is the first time that we start to see curriculum added in two I mean, excuse me, this is the first time that we begin to see English added into the curriculum and that we begin to see dual curriculum. There were two different tracks at this um, academy, uh, the vocational route and the college preparatory route. The vocational route featured things like bookkeeping, navigation, farming, things of that matter. And the college prep route was like more of a traditional curriculum like what we have in schools today. Um, this school didn't last very long though, and by the post-revolutionary period, the program began to get completely engulfed into the college prep, and it lost that flair that it had of the dual programs. And it became incredibly similar to the Boston Latin Grammar School by the end of the Revolutionary War. Some of these academies, though, did end up becoming universities today, which is pretty cool.